Hello and welcome to the video. Matthew here and we're looking at question 10 from the higher level junior cycle sample exam paper for 2021. This is a question that involves finding the mean, mode, median and range. If you know how to find these then you'll have no problem at all with the question. So now let me show you how we can find them. So the mean is the total of all values divided by the total number of values. So in other words, it's the sum of, you know, all the numbers, all the values, and then you divide it by the amount of values that you have. The mode is just the value that appears the most often in a data set. The median is the number in the middle of a data set that's ordered from lowest to highest. And then the range is just the difference between the lowest value and the highest value of a data set. It's very straightforward there. So now let's go back and have a look at our questions. So part A of the question wants us to write three integers so that the three numbers have a mode of two and a mean of five. So a mode of two means that the number that's there the most must be two. Now we have three integers, so that means that at least two of these must be two. We can't have the three of them as two, as if the three of them are two, then the mean will also be two. So we can just have two of them. So we're gonna put the first two integers as two. Now to work out the uh, third one, we know that they have to have a mean of five. So V plus two plus two, and then some number X, and divide it by three, and then we're going to put that equal to five, as uh, we want the mean. We as we want the mean to be equal to five. So the reason it's divided by three is because we have three numbers in total, and then it's equal to five, as we want the mean to be equal to five. So obviously two plus two is four. So we have four plus x uh, divided by three is equal to five, and multiplying both sides by three, we get four plus x is equal to fifteen. And now minusing four from both sides, we get x is equal to eleven. So therefore, our third integer, you know, the third number we have is eleven. So it's two, two, and eleven. So that's very straightforward there. And it's a very basic question on, uh, you know, finding numbers or finding a set with a specified mode and mean. So now let's move on to part B of the question, which is slightly harder. But again, if you had no issues with part A, you should be um, relatively okay for part B. So this time we're given a few more instructions. The mode is now four. The median, so now, we, so now we're given a median, which again is the number in the middle, uh, must be four. Uh, it has a mean of five and then a range of 12. So the first thing we can do is the median is four, which means uh, the number in the middle here will be four. That's the first thing we know now. It's saying also that the mode will be um, four as well. So that means we're gonna to have to have more fours than any other number. Mean of five, as I said, and then a range of 12. So we know it has a mode of four. So let's just put in another, put in another four here. And then we know it has a range of 12. So just 12 between the largest value and the smallest value. So we can just go start with one and to have a range of 12, then the largest value will be 13. So now to work out the number that is missing, we can just plus one, plus four, plus four, plus 13, then plus X, which will be the number that we have to fill in. Divide it by five, as now we have five numbers, and put that equal to five as it wants us to have a mean of five. So we say one, plus X, plus four, plus four, plus 13, divided by five is equal to five. So then the numerator of the fraction, so one plus four, plus four, plus 13, plus X, so that will give us um, 22 plus X, divided by five is equal to five. Multiplying both sides of the uh, equation by five, we get 22 plus X is equal to 25. And now I'm gonna minus 22 from both sides to give us the X on its own on the left-hand side. And then we get X is equal to 25 minus 22, which is X is equal to three. So then we get the last number that we were looking for to be three. So we have one, three, four, four, and 13. Now you may have a different five numbers to me and it may still be correct as long as your mode is four. So that's that uh, four will be there more than any other number. Your median is four, so that we have a four in the middle. It, that the mean is five, which we'll work out, so which we do have a mean of five, as we know that the statement there, the equation that we've written there, that must be true if x is three. And then that the largest number, that the smallest number taken away from the largest number uh, is 12, which we know 13 minus one is 12. So as long as all that criteria is met, then you will have the right answer. And it, it isn't necessarily the same answer that I got here. So that's our answer for part B of the question. It's also the last part of the question and the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching.